Warning, this channel is meant for viewers 21 plus and was created for educational and documentary purposes only. Beginner Buzz does not condone illegal activity and certainly does not sell anything. So don't even ask. Seriously. How's it growing everyone? As we continue to open the grow room again, there's one thing we have to plan ahead for, and that's preparing our medium. So get in here because we're gonna show you step by step how to make it. Let's go. point you know we're trying to make this our full-time jobs but YouTube is well YouTube when it comes to cannabis despite this we continue to find ourselves surrounded by nothing but love and support from this community if you did want to support the channel a little more the best way to do that is through our patreon with a private discord additional in-depth videos Patreon exclusive merch and live streams, or even the chance to smoke face to face with the buds, every tier gets something. The amount of support we've already received has been absolutely mind blowing, but we wanted to take some time out to show our appreciation for our newest patrons. So, a big shout out and an official thank you to. love you guys really all right let's get back to it all right guys so we've been here before but things are a little different now in our original video we had just cocoa perlite and a little of earth dust's base in there since then we've added earthworm castings and have upped our nutrient ratio as well in all we're gonna mix and make a batch of the quote-unquote living soil that our plants will use from seed through veg we say it like that because it's not technically a soil. We're actually going to use cocoa today. It's just called living soil because you're going to establish a colony of microbial life and fungi. That microbial life and fungi will feed off the nutrients in the medium with all the food and fixings they need to make water soluble nutrients for our plants. Just like in nature, we got microbes and food for them to break down, but the cocoa is inert. It serves no purpose other than to hold our nutrients and everything else in the pot while being able to keep everything wet. Also, it doesn't really break down. Ultimately, we're doing it this way in hopes to incorporate the recycling of soil after a plant is grown and harvested. With a planned fade, you should be able to time it so that there aren't many nutrients left over in the pot. Either way, first things first, we need a place to hold our medium. Remember, it should be light proof and seal up pretty well in order to keep the moisture in. We have such a large tote because we're gonna be using two bags of cocoa. Good news is this recipe can be cut in half. So if you only have a need for and plan to use just one bag of cocoa, an 18 gallon tote is big enough. For us, we've been using root soilless and we're gonna stick to that for now. Pretty straightforward stuff, roughly a 60-40 cocoa to perlite mix. There are actually small amounts of bat guano for microbial support, but growers should treat it like an inert media. Two bags from the hydro store, got it. Next is earthworm castings. We recently got turned on to wiggle worm, but any worm castings should do the same. The point is simple, provide us readily available water soluble nutrients for the plant in its seedling stage. Even better, earthworm castings can't burn your plant, so it's hard to overdo it. Oh, and did we mention that Ohio State University was able to prove that castings increase not only yields, but the quality of flour as well? So for us, we needed two bags of that as well. Fortunately, we had enough left over from past batches that we only needed to buy one. But the point is still the same. If you're starting from scratch and doing a big batch like this, then get two bags. Lastly, it was time for our nutrients. As you guys know, we've been using the Green Sunshine's company's Earth Dust. 
a simple organic two-part nutrient system that was designed to get you from seed to harvest with just one water only. If you don't know about the nutrients, yes, you heard that right. Nothing but water. Or so, that's the plan. <laughs> we'll see how close we get this time. Once you make the blend that you'll be making in veg, you'll only feed twice. Two top dresses spaced a month apart and beyond that, just plain water to keep the pot wet and the plant fed. The whole point here is simplicity. The simpler it is, the easier it is to replicate. So to keep it that simple, we just add in eight cups of base. All there is left to do is mix it. Make sure it has enough moisture to raise the humidity inside your tote and done. One last time, we'll put the recipe all together here. This is what we used. Two one and a half cubic foot bags of root soilless. 25% earthworm castings, which was six one gallon pitchers full and eight cups of base. Mix it, wet it down, seal it up, put it away. Simple. To cut that down, it'd be one bag of root soilless. You'd still have 25% earthworm castings and four cups of base. This should get you about four pots. Likewise, our mix uses two bags of cocoa, gets you about eight. We're hoping to have a perpetual grow going, so we knew we'd need more rather than less. But the amount you choose is up to you. Just keep the ratios the same. Last thing to do is wet everything down good. You don't want your mix sopping wet. There shouldn't be any water accumulation in the bottom of the tote. Just make sure it's all moist, spray the sides and the lid of the tote to help keep the humidity higher, box it up, and put it somewhere to brew. It takes about two to four weeks for the microbe and fungi colonies to get up to speed, running, reproducing, and breaking nutrients down for the plants. Although you could technically make a pot right when you need it to drop a bean, it is really suggested to just wait at least those two weeks as a bare minimum. That said, that's exactly what we'll be doing. So, another episode here and we'll be dropping beans. As for next week, we'll be dropping a par reading and suggested hanging height and intensity video for the Mars Hydro FC 6500. Super excited to see how this one turns out in a 4x4 footprint. You know what they say about those Samsung diodes. <laughs> Alright guys, until next week, keep learning, keep growing. Catch, Catch you later, later guys. guys.